Hi, I'm Rhonda Coriel, and I'm here at Rio Grande to introduce Rhonda's Purple Flux. I strongly recommend this flux for the use with Argentium. I'm going to show some of the differences between the standard yellow flux and my purple flux. You can see that the purple flux coats beautifully and doesn't draw back. It's important that it sheets across. The purple flux also dries more quickly than the yellow. You can see that the yellow flux on the left bubbles up more than the purple on the right. This is what I consider to be the most important difference between the two. Now I'm going to actually demonstrate fusing granules, wires, and bezels down. Again, using the yellow flux on the left and the purple on the right. I've dipped the granules, wires, and bezel with the yellow flux and I'm placing them on the surface. Now I'm painting the surface with the purple flux. You can see how beautifully it coats. I've dipped the bezel and each of the wires in the purple flux now. I dip each granule in flux before I place it on the surface also. I'll be heating these equally. If you watch closely, you can see the bezel on the left lifts up slightly and the granules ever so slightly also. The one on the right does not. I'm going to concentrate my heat on the one with the purple flux and go all the way to the fusing temperature. The secret to fusing is for everything to reach the same temperature at the same time. The optimal fusing temperature for Argentium is around 1500 degrees Fahrenheit and 815 Celsius. And now I'll do the same thing with the yellow. What I'm watching for at the base of the bezel is that the metal almost flows like solder. If you watch the granule, the top one actually moved and it rolled back into place because of capillary action. So both fluxes work, but the biggest difference here is the size of the droplets of flux from the yellow as opposed to the purple. You can also see that the metal on the right is whiter. The large dark spots are nothing but flux on the bezel on the left. Now after pickling, if you look at the bezel on the left, you can see the dark spots around the base. Those are caused by those larger drops of yellow flux and are almost like little pits. The purple flux leaves the metal with a much more uniform and pretty surface. I hope that this video has been helpful. And if you have any questions about Rhonda's Purple Flux, contact Rio Grande.